Today, we've received a package containing the Wantech Laboratory power supply. In this video, we will review some technical specs, measure ripple voltage, open the device and make some measurements to check if this device is safe to use. I purchased it from China on AliExpress for 70 euros, not the cheapest but still affordable. Let's power up the device. This is a CCCV power supply, meaning constant current and constant voltage. It can be used, for example, to charge lithium-ion batteries. Adjusting voltage and current works as expected. I don't like the beeping sound. I later managed to get rid of it by reading the manual. There's also a USB power port. I can connect a soldering smoke absorber to it. It's convenient as I no longer need a separate power adapter. Let's now check the ripple voltage at 2 amps of current and 5 volts of voltage. As you can see, the ripple voltage is below 20 millivolts. On the other hand, the ripple voltage on the USB port is so high that it doesn't even fit on the screen. The ripple voltage is around 200 millivolts. This is quite high, but the soldering fume extractor still seems to work. Let's compare this to the ripple voltage on Samsung's phone charger. Surprisingly high, at 40 millivolts. But this must be a good value because it's Samsung. Nevertheless, I trust Samsung's quality. Let's test an old self-made power supply. It has a high-quality buck boost converter combined with a computer power supply. The ripple noise here is only 10 millivolts. However, I don't want to use this anymore because the controls are cumbersome, the current is less than 6 amps, and the device heats up too much. Let's take a look inside the device. It's easy to open four screws on both sides, and then the case just slides off. I want to check if the soldering is neat and, in general, inspect the wiring and overall quality impression. I also want to verify the grounding connection. It looks clean and high quality. The soldering is neat, and the overall impression is good. The MOSFETs have sufficient heat sink, and the fan is in just the right place, in front of the heat sink. On the back, the high voltage side is clearly marked, and the high voltage is isolated from the low voltage with an adequate safety margin. The front panel is plastic, and the back panel and bottom are metal. Measurements reveal that the grounding is connected to the frame, as it should be. The lack of grounding is sometimes a problem with Chinese devices, but in this case, the grounding is in order. Let's measure the grounding plug on the front panel, and it's also in order. Note that the negative wire is not connected to the grounding, but this is typical with switch power supplies. Putting the case back in place, and the device is ready for use. But with Chinese devices, I want to check the safety by opening the device before use. Sometimes, the grounding reaches the device's plug, but the wiring is not connected forward. But in this device, the grounding was in order. Thanks for watching.